How did Conchita come to be? Give people an insight into that. Well, the story is actually not that glamorous as many people would think. If I'm completely honest, everything just happened by mistake. Because I'm doing drag since I'm 14, but never in a regular way. And I got the offer in uh, 2011 to host a little burlesque show, which would be weekly. And I said, hey, let's do it in drag. And, and the lady said, well, sure, let's go. And then I realized, oh, I have to shave every week. And I, I really don't like my face beardless. <laughs> so I asked, hey, would you be okay by having a bearded lady on stage? And that was it, actually. And there was Conchita. How did you come up with the name? Well, the, the name Conchita was given uh, to me by a friend of Cuba, um, from Cuba. And I asked her, so, so how do you call a hot Latina? And she said, Conchita. And I said, well, I'm going to take that. <laughs> I'm going to take that. And then I wanted to have a very glamorous surname, but it wouldn't come to my mind. So I, I, I go. Well, when you, you have explain to people, are you always Conchita? Or when are you Conchita and when are you not Conchita? Well, I, I, I refer to myself as a drag artist, so I do have a non-makeup face mm -hmm. in real life, so I would walk around as Tom without the wig, without the lashes, you know, paying bills and stuff. I'm very thankful that he does that. <laughs> um, but, Thought out all that boring stuff. Yeah, but, um, and, and when it comes to, to the public eye, I would always attend uh, in full. Mm -hmm. Drag. And did you did you set out to make a statement? Did you set out to say, you know, I'm different and I'm embracing being different and I want people to accept me as being different? Well, I, I didn't thought about that it, uh, in first place because, you know, in this back to, 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 to the start in this burlesque community, you might think that everyone is very open minded and, you know, very thinking in a liberal way but they would give me the side eye and I found out that this beard actually means way more than I thought it could and then I said hey of course I'm a drag queen even if I have a beard and even if I do it in a more you know sophisticated way I think in terms of drag I'm the most boring drag queen you could ever no, see. No 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 it, scientifically if we broke it down if we had the scientific formula you believe it is a cross between or a combination of Zayn Malik and Kim Kardashian yeah? Oh That's thank you for Kim. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh,